made this little contraption to uh, cut the power to the charge controller in case it exceeds a certain voltage. I set it for about 36 volts. It's made out of two relays, a 12 volt and a 24 with a senior diode, uh, 12 volt senior diode here to uh, set the cutoff point at 36 volts. This is good to 50, so I didn't want to fry it because as soon as it's done charging, the voltage will elevate well above that, uh, possibly about 140 volts. So we definitely fried this 50 volt unit. This is alternator voltage. This one is the voltage on the other side of this device here, which feeds to the charge controller. That's an RPM meter. And this is a watt meter and power meter here. Okay, so you can see here, you got voltage climbing on the generator right here. It's RPMs showing nothing on that end. We can turn it on right here. It clicks that on the device. You can see our watts, three watts. And then the charge control is going to start dancing, trying to find, I guess, the best uh, power point. Okay, see that cut off when that went above like, like around 32 volts or 34 volts. And it cuts off the power to this, so it keeps that from frying. So we'll bring it up to the powerhouse and see what it does. Let's see if we can get the camera wet. So we'll try this one first here. Doesn't look too pretty. Even though it's, it's efficient. Uh, that's about 40. Uh, that's 40 psi. 50 the way we were running it at. It's around there. That's what we were running at. And it's a little distorted. I guess it's not terribly bad, but it seems to be more effective than this one here. So that was a 40 and 50, and I'll try to hold it here. Yeah, it only dropped down to 60, like 67 PSI. So that's uh, that's uh, pretty good actually. I you should try the 25,000, but we'll play with that later. We know what it looks like now. This is a free spin test. I'm only gonna let it go up to 200 volts if that's how high it gets.
Got my second prototype here. Is actually a Pelton wheel versus our turbo wheel we used last time. Before I tried the charge controllers, I want to test it just like we did before, just to compare it to the Turco with the same adjustable nozzles here, these blue nozzles. So water's on, 70 PSI, my RPM meter with the zone battery, and the same wattage meter that we've been using all along. Battery voltage rate right now is 1423, so okay, let's, let's try it now. doing better much better a lot quieter than the uh, turbo about 85 watts is what we're getting out of it right now again this is the Pelton with the same jets versus the turbo without a charge controller we have 85 uh, watts with a single nozzle So if I hooked up this big mess here all together the right way, uh, hopefully we won't see any smoke before we even get to try it out. Let's fire it up. This one's showing 14.2. This one's 14.1. And we'll put the RPM meter on. We'll put the tack right on there. Uh, they're up by 0.1 or so. And now what this does, if I click on this button here, it activates, it just clicked. So it just hooked it up to the generator. So let's open it up and see what it does. So it's showing that it's charging. And we're only at the 10 watts now. Let's crank it up a little more. See, it just did, it just did, see, that's exactly what it just did. It just cut off. It just cut off because it looks like the MPVT on this thing does work, but it's just not good for a uh, hydro unit. The hydro generator is just uh, not going to do it because as soon as it eases off from it, the RPMs go real high and our voltage just goes, the voltage got all the way up to like, uh, I think I saw 80 volts there. So that should have tripped this here, protecting this unit. So I'm gonna, okay. I just activated it again. We'll try it again and see what it does. So 11 watts. I'm trying not to be out there here, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to keep it softer now and see what it does there. Crank it up a little more. So there it goes again. Yeah, no, not uh, doing it as soon as it gets, uh, this one got up to about 20 watts. The voltage cut up too high and this one shut off. Yeah, it's, click, it's clicking off uh, too early. Again, I have it set to, for 30 volts and I just don't want to fry that unnecessarily. So it's too, uh, it would be too much trouble to get this one to work. Actually, I doubt if we can get this to work because this thing's generating over 140 volts when it's running. I'll try it one third, a third time. You'll hear the click as soon as I uh, press the button here. That activates the relays. It's only a one shot deal. If it goes over the 30 volts, it will just cut out and stay off. Uh, 
I can put the voltmeter under, but um, because the voltage here and the voltage at the batteries, since they're upstairs, would be a little different. Here, it might just be climbing a little too high because of the gauge of the wires. We got right now 13 watts. This one here, see it's showing that uh, if I cut it off, see the little sort of solar panel goes out. Okay, just get back on. See it? There it goes. All right, so it just cut out. I'm gonna try to uh, catch it this time. Let's try it one more time. Reset it. And now we'll watch the watts here, see what it's doing. So we tried the Chinese cheap one and due to the low voltage on that one we weren't able to play with it. On the bench it was jumping all over the place as far as trying to control uh, and find the maximum power point. So we would have to make uh, maybe an electronic device instead of this so I can tweak it all the way close to the range of this which is 50 volts but I don't think it's worth it. We'll try the better charge controller. One that can handle 150 volts. I have never seen a package so well packed as this product here. It was very well and neatly placed. Even the, the bag that was around the box was neatly and tightly wrapped protecting the original box. I hope the product is as good as their packaging. <laughs>